A steam plant using a castle steam boiler, part 17, a bonus episode, changing the gas jets and trying out an idea sent in by a viewer. First of all it's time to change the gas jets, these are number 5's and they are very small and block up easily. I'm going to change the number 5 jets for some number 8 jets which are slightly bigger. The problem with number 5's, because the hole in the jet is so small, it's easily blocked by any debris or rubbish that you often get in commercial gas canisters. Also, occasionally, internal scale from within the copper piping gets into the jet and blocks it up. So by fitting number 8's, which are slightly bigger, I'm hoping this is going to rectify the problem. I'm also hoping that there's not going to be excessive howling down the tubes, and hopefully not too much carbon monoxide will be produced. After everything was fitted back to the boiler, I turned on the gas to the gas jets and lit it from the hole in the end of the boiler. And almost immediately the howling commenced. But once I turned down the gas pressure to low, it disappeared. What you're about to see is an interesting idea, which was sent in by a viewer. I've turned off the gas, and I'm removing the burners using a cloth because they're very hot. The viewer suggested putting some sound absorbing and fireproof material into the flues. This is ceramic wool. I do have some thinner stuff somewhere but I couldn't find it. This may be a bit thick. Thinking about it, it is a good idea. I fitted the ceramic wool and relit the burners through the hole in the front of the boiler. To be honest, I am not a big fan of these twin flue boilers. I do not like lighting that much gas in a confined space. One of the burners actually went out, I had to relight it. And after the bang, I clicked the lighter a few times to make sure that it was fully lit. The ceramic wool stopped the howling, but it also stopped some of the heat from getting through. Maybe some thinner ceramic wool would do it, but I don't have any of that, and I'm duty bound to keep this boiler as it was designed by the manufacturer. I thought I'd have a quick look at the state of the fire on the burners on the bench. And everything looks quite good. So I turned the gas off, refitted the burners to the boiler, then I relit the boiler one more time, and now I'm raising steam. After a very short while there was enough pressure to lightly blow the whistle. I thought it would be a good idea to warm up the engine, so I opened the steam valve and rotated the engine by hand. There's insufficient pressure to make it work, but it was getting hotter all the time. This is another good reason to have a condenser oil trap, apart from its primary function, which is to collect the exhaust oil. Without a condenser in the circuit, this would be very messy as all the water would go up the chimney. A slight amount of pressure now. I took this opportunity to relabel the packet because it now contains number 5 jets. The engine is now running, although at the moment the pressure is very low, so it's a little bit gurgly. But nevertheless, it runs very well. As I mentioned in a previous episode, this engine runs on such a small amount of steam, I don't bother firing the boiler hard. The gas pressure is turned right down to a minimum, and at the moment, my carbon monoxide alarm is silent. My large traction engine is no longer in the workshop, it's down in the garage. And if you watch these videos regularly, you will notice that I was running it from the garage area the other day. The good thing is though, I have some space in my workshop again, and I can actually get camera angles on this engine that I couldn't get before. This section is in slow motion. It runs very well. I'm voicing over this video at 9.30 on Sunday 6th of September. Tomorrow morning, the owner of the engine is going to call in to pick it up. And this bonus feature is definitely the last episode. It's time for me to stop talking because I've got nothing more to say about this engine. I'll just leave it running on steam to the end of the video. Stay safe, stay well, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.